hey guys, what's up? Um, I just figured I'd make one because I was bored. So hi. <laughs> um, there's not really much to tell. See, it was really, really nice talking to you the other day. We definitely need to have another Skype date again. Not one of those. Oh, we'll have another Skype date and then ever, never actually do that. We're going to do it, I promise. Um, Matt, dear, I miss you. I love you. I know things are tough right now for you, and I understand. And you know that if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. You're my best friend. Okay? just want you to know that. Okay? I just feel bad. I haven't been here for you, and I haven't been able to be there for you. And it's really, really difficult for me because I know how you feel, and I know how bad it is. And it's just, I miss you, and I feel awful that I can't be there for you. I haven't heard from you in a while, so hopefully you'll message me back or text me or something, because I miss you. Anyway, um, nothing really new. I've got about three weeks, a little bit more than before I have to leave. I got in contact with my roommate, which is really cool. Her name is Jenny, and she's basically a carbon copy of me without the theater background. It's really awesome. She's really cool. I don't know much about her yet other than things that she's told me, like she likes to write. She's undecided but wants to major in English and minor in creative writing. And she reads a bunch, loves Harry Potter, so that's a plus. Um, yeah, it's pretty. she likes pretty much everything I like, so it's really cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know her a little bit more. I've only heard from her, I think I heard from her the first time on Monday, and I'm waiting for another email so we can talk about, like, all of the things we need to pack. Um, so, yeah. Last night, um, before I left my room to come to Brian's room after work, I saw that there were some pretty big spiders above my, above my bed that I hadn't noticed before. So I decided I was going to, you know, take care of them and kill them and be on my merry way. And so I got home last night at like 11.30 and I got dressed, or got my pajamas on and crawled into bed, remembered about the spiders and went to go kill them. And there were, I noticed that there were a couple more in the corner of the room in a place that I couldn't reach. And so I took my... It was either hairspray or bug spray. I don't remember which one it was, but I grabbed the nearest can and I just kind of sprayed it like next to where the spider was so he would move. And he got super mad and he just darted across and he vanished behind my curtain. It freaked me out. And all of a sudden he comes out of the curtain and there are like 10 more with him and they attack me and it was awful. It was terrifying. And I called Brian like almost in tears like you need to come help me kill these spiders he's like babe I love you you're the love of my life but I'm really scared of spiders too I'm not gonna be able to help you and he's trying to calm me down when all of a sudden I turn and the big one that I'd been trying to get to the other side of the room drops down right in front of my face and I screamed screamed so loud it was really bad Brian thought I was getting attacked and I recovered and I said, Brian, I'm spending the night in your room. I don't care if I have to work in the morning, I'm not staying here. And I packed all my stuff up into a bag and ran across the park at midnight to go to his dorm room. It was awful. And I, <laughs> after work today, I was like, all right, I'm going to make a pack. I'm going to kill these spiders and I'm going to do my laundry. I started to do my laundry and I got a shower and then I realized I'm super scared of spiders. I knew that already, but uh, I couldn't kill them. I just left them. I was like, all right, whatever. Brian can help me later. Somebody can help me. I'm not dealing with this. And so I left and now I'm in Brian's room because I was too scared to kill a bunch of spiders. <laughs> and I'm 18 years old and about to head off to college. Yeah. So that's that. I have... Tomorrow, after the park closes, the games people are doing Halloween in July, which there's a costume contest, which I'm not going to take part of because I don't have anything to wear. Um, and there's pizza and there's pop. And then for being good employees slash 
answering riddles, which is how I got all of mine, but my supervisors gave out tickets. And so you would go into the office, you would write your name on the back of the ticket, and then you'd drop them into buckets with the supervisor's names and pictures on them. And then they're going to have a drawing tomorrow night, and people are going to get to pie our supervisors in the face. So I have three tickets in my supervisor Emily's bu bucket, and three tickets in my supervisor Greg's bucket. So I'm excited. I hope I get picked. Um, and then I have Thursday and Friday off. And I'm really excited to get to spend the day with Brian on Thursday because we haven't been able to do that. Even if, even when we've had a Thursday off together, it's been like his family was in town or something else. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm really excited. It's going to be lots of fun. I hope to hear from you guys soon. I'm sorry this is kind of boring and probably a waste of like six minutes of your life. And I'm sorry. And I love you. And I hope you guys put up some vlogs soon, or at least text me or Facebook me. I'm really lonely. I don't have very many friends. Um, yeah, I love you guys. See ya.